Hey, what's up, guys? This is George, uh, Inflation.us, and we're here on the phone with Greg. He's a, a local um, gold buying expert, um, a good friend of mine in Arizona. And what's what's up, Greg? You had some thoughts, and I I really think you should share it with the audience. Well, as you know, George, the uh, stock market kind of went down a little bit, 250 points over a country like Greece having some uh, financial problems, and that in turn caused a whole lot of people that are buying gold and silver, specifically the ones that are holding silver and buying silver. And I always thought from the old school that when you uh, experienced economic distress, that that would cause precious metals to accelerate in value, when what i found in the last uh, couple years has just been the opposite. Uh, when the stock market and economy goes south, it's having the opposite effect on precious metals. And so I got on the internet and just started looking at, uh, you know, a little bit of the history of what's been going on specifically over the last two years. And I looked at our big meltdown back in 2008, if we all remember when George Bush bore, uh, bailed out all these wonderfully big companies that were too big to fail to keep us from financial Armageddon, it sent the price of silver down 39% in a very, very short period of time. And it's like, holy moly, this is what I see, George. This is my prediction, unfortunately. I'm in the business, and I've been really excited about investing in gold and silver. However, when this economy crashes, which it is going to crash, the price of precious metals, instead of going up, are going to go down. Now, the only scenario that we have hope in, and unfortunately it's called that inflation word, that you know all too well about, and that's the only thing that's going to cause precious metals to really go through the roof. Well, Greg, I, I also think, I think one of the, th the devils we have to fight here is the whole idea of short term. Because if you look at the long term, um, you know, like a five to ten year, gold has performed very well. And in terms of, uh, you know, the gold to stock the, the Dow ratio, I mean, the Dow is actually performing not as well as it seems when you price it in terms of gold. Vision Victory talked about that. So I think I agree with you in the fact that we're gonna, gold is going to take some hits and silver is going to take some hits. But I, I generally agree with the concept that over the long haul, we're talking the next two to three, five years, Gold of, is going to be soaring, and silver is going to be soaring. That's what I think. Well, I sure hope so. I see a ratio to one around the corner. to really going to make silver the whipping boy. Uh, <laughs> you're too close. You know, you're you're buying and selling this stuff every day. You're watching the spot price every day. You're too close to uh, you're too too close to uh, silver and gold. That's your problem. Well, America is just Americans. Just have any room in their heads for numbers. I just went to Circle K and the guy in front of me bought $15 worth of gas and $9.94 in pop, and that was $24.94, and he gave him 40 bucks, and it took the guy 10 minutes on a calculator to give him change. That's the kind of people that we have in America. I mean, not everybody, don't get me wrong, I mean, the guy's nice as, you know, nice as yeah. the day is long, but we don't understand economics, we don't understand numbers, and the big the whole economic system, our economy, they know that. And they're playing us. They're playing us big time. If they quit screwing around with the numbers, we'd have no inflation. We'd have no deflation. Everything would be static. But instead, they take things up, they take them down. X over, George, think about it. You get a guy that's, uh, you know, got billions of dollars. He plays the silver market for a million dollars a day. He knows when it's going to go up. He knows when it's going to go down. To him, it's a fun little part-time job. But for you and me, it's our livelihood. So he invests a million dollars in the silver market, and it gains a buck. The next day, he sells, and it goes down a buck. So he's making money all over the place, and all he's doing is manipulating just like the Hunt brothers, except yeah, the yeah, and you know, and we're digressing from the fact that you know I, this documentary that's coming up, you know, it, it, it's gonna it's gonna explain to people what's happening, why everything seems to be going up, but in their lives things seem to be going down. It's the whole concept of melt up. Things prices may increase, but 
not necessarily living standards and we could have a collapse with an upward projection of prices but hey on the on the note that you were talking about kind of the whole economic and people not understanding things I had a when I was in New York I had this an insider guy explain to me about what happened with the CDS the um, the um, credit default swaps and he was talking to a guy that is um, that made literally billions I mean there were people that were investing on those credit default swaps and that was like stuff even super experienced financial guys didn't understand and from what I understand these guys bought this bet that these mortgages would fail and they were all securitized or they were all uh, backed by AIG and when that whole thing went down we had the whole collapse in real estate it, when the government came in and bailed out AIG they they basically transferred billions of dollars to individuals that bought these things called credit default swaps why that isn't in the news and why that isn't the crime of the century in in mainstream Americans minds is beyond me I mean just well, George, I hope I really hope that your new documentary sheds some light on the truth and the reality of what's really really going on um, I'm going to kind of cut this short because me and my buddy were going down to the refinery down in Phoenix. But I would, you know, like to add, I really appreciate all the work that you've done following you now for the last two years. And uh, if you could put my little YouTube channel up as an annotation, that would be great. And because we're all in this together, my friend. And yeah, I'm what, to what's, your, uh, what's your YouTube channel, by the way? Scrap Gold Business. Okay, great. Just updated it out a month ago. And what I want to do, George, is help people get in the scrap gold business. I'm not going to charge them a dime. I don't want a penny for it. I'm in the people business. I just want to help people. Give you an example. I've taken my buddy down to the refiner right now, right? 98% is what I pay, or what he pays. So that's, you know, he's going to give me 5% for doing it. And, you know, it's a quick 500 bucks for me, but, you know, it's a good deal for everybody. So that's, in this economy, George, we're in the people business. You're in the people business. I mean, I know you put a whole heck of a lot of effort into this. And for your amount of return, you're never going to be a millionaire. And, you you know, but the, re, the, but the results are is that you can live with yourself, you can hold your head high, and you can be proud for what you're doing. Okay, Greg, hey, take care. Good luck at the Gold Refinery, and thanks for the input, buddy. Have a good one, George. Adios.